Oh, again with these guys? What? What are you guys doing? Where are you going constantly? What is over here? Yeah, that lit a fire in that guy's butt. Boom. I want to get that guy. Get the angle. Boom. There we go. Now we let his cronies kill him. Oh, the fire killed him. Oh, you missed me. Oh, I missed him. And your buddy's just hanging out over there. Oh, almost got him. Ooh, an enchanted crossbow. I wonder what we got. Hey, what's up everyone? It's your boy Ripperoni coming back at you with another episode of the Minecraft Enchiridion here. And today we are going to be doing some farms. Uh, I, I had said in our last episode that I want to do a couple of zero tick farms in here. Well, I didn't say in here. Uh, I said that I just wanted to do a couple of zero tick farms. And I'm going to put them around here so that when I AFK for the mob farm up there, uh, they still run down here. Uh, the chunks are still loaded and everything works out. Um, so what I'm going to do, uh, I've already started to take the floor out here, and I'm going to make it look a little bit more industrial complex E. I don't really know how to describe that, so I'm going to make it look a little bit more uh, like not just a random patch of desert, I guess. So then once I do that, we'll go ahead and get started on the farms. Uh-oh, we'll have to go take care of these guys quick. Am. Not too hard. Did we get a head? Oh, we got a pillager head. Oh, I don't have any room. How? How? <laughs> Sweet. Oh my god. You hear that? <laughs> so it's night outside, so I was going to sleep in here because I'm I'm in here getting some supplies for the the industrial path. And I found a kitty in here, so we're going to... Oh no, we only have cooked cod. Do we have, do we have any raw fish? Oh no, don't tell me we don't have any raw fish. Oh, I don't think we have any raw fish. We gotta tame this cat. We gotta tame it. It's in there. We got, we gotta tame him. I need fish. I'm gonna go see if I can find some fish. Maybe with the villagers. Ah, fish. Raw salmon. Raw cod. Hopefully 12 is enough. Okay, buddy. We're here. We have the raw salmon out. Uh, don't, don't run away. Oh, you're okay. It's okay, buddy. Oh, don't run away. It's okay. Hey. Oh, he loves us. He's our friend. He's our friend. And he likes to sit on chests so that we can't open them. What a cutie. We got to name this guy. The black cat with orange and yellow eyes. And we're going to die. We're going to die as collar right now just because we can. Got to use the orange dye, right? That fits him. He's going to be our Halloween cat. He's Halloween themed. Meow. Hi, buddy. I wish we could pet him. Instead, we'll give him cod. Have some cod, buddy. Oh, he's purring. He loves us. We gotta name him. Gotta name him. 
and there we go we got it looking a little bit more industrial here um these sand blocks here is going to be a, a path through here um so that being said we've got places for a farm or two right here probably one behind us um one or two here and then one back over in that corner but yeah that's pretty cool um let's get started with the zero tick uh the sugar cane and bamboo farms are pretty similar so we're going to start with those uh, and we have everything here i'm using a design from il mango uh, i'll put a link to that video in the description uh, he's another guy off the sycraft server um guys are just g absolute geniuses when it comes to any of these farms so we've got everything we need is should be right here uh, plus some building blocks so we'll grab our sticky pistons our redstone torches and our dirt blocks and we'll go ahead and make it uh right here we'll make it right here so let's start by placing a block we're gonna place it right there and then we want our dirt on top of it so we'll go like that and then we're going to need to put a sticky piston right here but we have to have it facing this way so we'll do that like that and then this one here we're going to want right there so we'll have to put a sticky piston like that and then we will put our redstone torches on this block right here I didn't think about it, but this block right here should be your building block of choice. Uh, so we'll keep going and we'll put blocks here and here, and we will put our redstone dust on top of it. So we've got this much so far. We want to add the on off switch. So that's actually going to be right here. Then we'll have a sticky piston going like this take out this block and then this right here didn't do anything oh that's because this this block goes right here like that that will end up being the on off switch so i might change this block out i'm not sure yet the next thing we want to do is place some of these regular pistons and we want to place them right in here so you'll have one there and then one up here and then one up here one down there and then we want that block in there like that so after you place these pistons they should look something like that this one might extend uh that's okay so that's yeah basically once you place four of these pistons it should look just like that so from here uh really we are good to to turn it on and to test it and sometimes we can oh geez, i'll turn that down so if you notice these two down here are not firing at all so we can just get rid of them um it's basically this is a glitch basically what we what's gonna happen is we're gonna plant sugar cane on top of there and it's gonna force grow it these these pistons are updating these pistons and pushing this block back and forth like that uh it causes a bug where things grow super super fast so so that's cool so that part is working now that the farm is actually working we can go ahead and plant our sugar cane on here actually we can't because i forgot first we need to add the water so we'll go ahead and make a little pocket here mine this guy out add our water in oop that's not water that's gravel then now that we have the water we can do that and add our sugar cane and then now we need to so this will if you turn this on it'll force oh it won't uh oh what did i do wrong okay well i'm not really sure why you should be able to plant that and then turn this on and it's supposed to stay there and grow uh as you can see it's not what i figured out that i can do is i can turn it on and then plant one and then it works so then it force grows it 
it'll have something to take it off. It'll force grow it, it'll take it off. Just like that. But in order to do that, we are going to want a sticky piston, or a regular piston rather, right there. Oop, not right there, right here. Then we want an observer pointing away from the piston. And then we're going to want our sticky piston on top of the observer looking the opposite direction of that piston. Then we want a slime block attached to that sticky piston and a block of redstone attached underneath there. And then we are good to add our hopper, which this hopper will go just like that. Uh, this will be a chest right here though. And I'm gonna sleep. And so, so I don't have a chest right now, but uh, this farm is, once you have it like that, this farm is good to go. Uh, as you can see, I still don't know why it does that, but I can hop up here and do this, and then you'll see it'll work. Boom, that goes right into the hopper there. Now we wanna add a couple of blocks over here just because sometimes this farm will spit the the entity over to one of the sides so we want to keep that contained here uh so after a little googling i found out that if you just leave all four of these pistons in those corners for whatever reason now it works now i don't have to plant it every time um so i'm thinking I might add some glass out the front here just to make it look nice and then I'll probably cover it with a, a little contained little build but that is that farm done uh, we will just get started on the other farm now well I went ahead and did the bamboo zero tick farm it's pretty much the same design as the sugarcane farm um, really the biggest difference is that there's no water involved because bamboo doesn't need water and then uh, this on off mechanism is a little bit different um, but uh, what we do from here is we plant the bamboo and then you see how this is just a sapling still you want to grab a bone meal and you want to bone meal that so that you have the stalk and then knock off the top and then now it'll work it doesn't work with a sapling for whatever reason so for the harvest what you want to do is you want to put this observer here on top of the redstone dust put a block on top of it and then put a piston right here so that it harvests it and then that should harvest the bamboo every time it see boom 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 it just spits it out so then we will have to place our hopper and our chest so our hopper is going to have to be pointing down into this block like that and then our chest will be there and then we can probably do a little double chest action right in here so yeah um, once again I'm gonna have to do some surrounding blocks some glass and some building blocks around this to encase it and keep the the drops all going into the hopper but uh, once we're done with that we'll go ahead and move on to the uh the non-zero tick versions of these farms because the zero tick like i said earlier the zero tick farms are going away in 1.16 i believe so i want to be prepared for when that happens this farm is creeping me out uh, i've got it just turned on while i'm hanging out down here so it's just kind of passively going and it, every time it makes a sound it's just like <gasps> you know scary Kind of like that ominous music. Yeah, this is what we've gotten while we've been record or while I've been recording here. So we ran into a problem. Uh, I've been doing a lot of building, a lot of farms, a lot of cool stuff like that, and not a whole lot of farming. And as you can see from in there, I only have 11 iron ingots left. Um, so we're gonna have to go mining. I'm gonna have to go try and find some iron uh, in order to build the hoppers and stuff for the, the farms that I wanna make. 
but I did want to show you something. I, I did a little bit of organizing for my ender chest. I got a lot of shulker boxes made up. Then I went ahead and made like the redstone box, stuff to do with villagers, tools and equipment, the essentials, so some food, torches, rockets, um, whatever project I'm working on, decorating stuff. So I'm starting to get an ender chest organized and I wanted to show you guys the process of actually, you know, renaming and decorating. So this one is our valuables. This is all our diamonds and ores and stuff. So what you do is first off, you go ahead and you take your shulker box to an anvil and you name it whatever you want to do so we're gonna name it uh dollar dollar bill y'all is that just one space or did i accidentally put two in there nope i totally just put one cool so there is a dollar dollar bill y'all and what color do we want to dye it uh definitely black black for the dollar dollar bill y'all so basically you just take your shulker box take your black dye add it in boom done dollar dollar bill y'all well we went mining uh, my girlfriend decided that she wanted to come with me down in the mine so her and i mined together and i'll show you what we got uh we found quite a bit of cool stuff actually so we found all this we found 11 diamond ore plus 10 diamonds bunch of gold ore, bunch of redstone, bunch of coal, and this is what we are after. I got almost three, or I mean, almost four stacks of iron and some other random bits, and then a, a box full of cobblestone and regular stone. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, I'm gonna smelt up that iron real quick, and then we'll go ahead and get started on the regular automatic farm. So I'm, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make an automatic sugarcane farm, an automatic bamboo farm, and an automatic pumpkin and melon farm, uh, just to show you the, the non-zero tick alternatives because like I said a couple times now the, the zero tick is going away to my understanding so let's try and make some farms that are you know roughly equivalent maybe not quite so high output but whatever it works so give me just a second to smelt up some iron oh <laughs> So right here is where we're going to put our melon and pumpkin farm that'll be automatic for us. And we are going to start with the rail line. I'm going to build a little rail line right here um, in between these four posts that empties out into this chest here. And once we have the platform built like this, we can go ahead and put our rails down. So I laid out the rails and this is what I came up with. I'm gonna go ahead and replace these blocks with like redstone blocks so that it powers these rails. And then I'll go ahead and test this, make sure that this is gonna work properly. All the rails are powered up. Let's go ahead and put this down. Ooh, that's a bit slow. We're gonna add some more powered rails, I think, because yeah, I don't really like that. Much better. So we will have to add a circuit somewhere around here, probably right here, so that um, it detects when the minecart has stuff in it and locks everything out so that it drops everything into this hopper. Um, but I'm, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Uh, what we need to do next is we need to go ahead and make our dirt platform where our... Uh, melons and pumpkins are gonna be but well, first I'm gonna go sleep So once you have your dirt platform which is one block higher than the rail so that the rail cart or the mine cart has enough room to go here um, This is just a nine by nine by dirt and then I have a bottom slab in here and waterlogged it that way the water doesn't fall down this way uh, but we're able to have all of this farmland that we're about to make hydrated because hydrated farmland makes it like twice as efficient according to Il Mango. so we're definitely going for maximum efficiency because it's not a very big farm as you can see so then you want to hoe these blocks here every other one and then in a diagonal pattern here so go ahead and do that And place a glowstone right here. And the placement of melons versus pumpkins is actually kind of important. You want to 
plant them in rows basically so you'll have one row pumpkins and then you'll have one row melons and then one row pumpkins just like that uh, that way it alternates diagonally so because again uh, another efficiency thing uh, as crops grow as we learned over there when we did our first set of crops uh, crops in minecraft grow it in rows so when you plant them in rows like this they will tend to grow faster as you can see already these ones have already started to grow so i'm going to go ahead and finish this up quick the next thing you want to do is over the stems you want to place observers that are not not looking that way you want them looking that way so the face is down here the arrow points upward go ahead and do that over all of the melon and pumpkin blocks it might be a little bit tricky as you can see i'm struggling pretty hard uh, but with a little bit of practice you should be able to get it and you notice you can't like click here really this doesn't do anything you need to find the hitbox where that is there and then on the top face of it and nope try again Now, if you're using this tactic here, you gotta be real careful because you might accidentally jump on your crops and that would be no good. But if you're a professional like me, you'll be good to go. Oh, uh, you didn't see that. Again? Okay, maybe this isn't the best tactic. <laughs> oh! This is stressing me out. Oh. Ah. Well, I think I kind of screwed myself because we've got to place these pistons facing down like this. So I can do a couple of them. But see, like that one, I can't, I can't get that one to go properly, I don't think. No. So I'm going to have to mine out, I think I'm going to have to mine out all or some of this whole layer here. Uh, so I'm going to do that real quick, place the piston so that they're all facing down in these little gaps. And uh, then we'll move on. <laughs> so I was having some issues uh, trying to figure out how to place and hoe the dirt in this one wide gap. And I figured out the, uh, I think the funniest solution. Now, I don't know if there's a better way to do this or not, but if you just trigger the elytra, you can just end up in here <laughs> and you can, uh, you can do everything just like this. <laughs> so we will replace our bottom slab, waterlog the block, and then we'll go ahead and get everything hoed back up. <laughs> a wandering villager. Oh geez, oh he looks like he fell in a hole there. Now I don't know if this behavior where you like can do this sort of thing, I don't know if that was intended or not, uh, but since that got added in I think 1.15, it, it, it's been wonderful because I don't have no idea how else I would have done this to be honest with you uh, without like creative mode or something and obviously I don't want to do that. But yeah, I have no idea how I would have hoed all this or done any work in here without the use of this, this mechanic right here, which is hilarious. Uh, so now we want to go ahead and place our plants, which we are not going to have enough seeds. I'll have to go get some more seeds. Once you have your grid of observers and pistons, you want to go ahead and start with a grid of note blocks and solid blocks. Uh, I'm not really sure of the redstone wizardry behind this, but again, it uh, it has to do with this observer sending a signal to this solid block, and then this solid block being powered, I think, passes power to these, which powers the pistons. Um, but using a different type of block here would make it not work, I guess. Uh, I'm, I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm no master. Definitely check out somebody like Il Mango or Nembon because they are the masters and they know their stuff. So, I guess I'd go ahead and make your grid of note blocks and solid blocks. Oop. I don't know if I'm going to leave the note blocks working or not. You can place blocks, like, right there and then... 
obviously you see nothing happens but as it works right now every time these are triggered they'll make a noise so i might just like uh randomize them and make a funny sounding thing out of them i'm not really sure i might get annoyed and just cover the whole thing so oops this one here uh we want to leave open oh my yep okay that's so that's what happens when it triggers so now really for this to be completely functional uh all we need to do is put our minecart down here and get our circuit for unloading the minecart when it comes back um but really that's that's functional now so i'll just let this go um and then we will get started on the automatic sugarcane and bamboo farm just because that's going to be an easy one that one will actually probably fit right here next to it so we won't take up too much space here today. It would take up about half the space in our little new industrial complex. I really like this. Uh, definitely, definitely subscribe for more of this because this sort of thing is what I love doing. Um, this is what you're going to see more of now that I have access to everything is it'll be like little sectioned off bits like this and then maybe a big project here or there. Um, I do have... A, a, an idea for uh, a big project that I'm really thinking about. I think it would be really fun. Uh, it has to do with the Minecraft animals. So again, definitely subscribe, uh, check it out, come back later and all that, just in case you're uh, in, interested in that. Uh, give me just a second and we'll get started on the next farms. All right. <laughs> oh man. Man, oh man, that's gotta change. Anyway, we're back here at the industrial district. We're gonna make our automatic sugarcane and our automatic bamboo farms that are the non-zero tech variety. As you can see, I have started with our collection chests. So I'm gonna do two uh, versions basically of the same farm. It works for sugarcane or bamboo. And we'll start with collection. So we want to do a hopper into the chest. And then we want to do six hoppers on either side. This is just because this is how big I want it mine. Um, it can be pretty much any length you want realistically. So go ahead and do this. And then once you have your hoppers, we'll go ahead and grab some rails. We're going to want powered rails on the ends and then oh, regular rails on top. Once we've got our rails on top of our hoppers, we want to go ahead and put the dirt blocks up. And so that is where uh, the plants will be planted, I guess is, is the proper way. I'm actually, I think I'm going to sync this all one so that we can see the plants more readily. So yeah, give me just a second and I'm going to sync both of these down one block and, uh, and we'll keep going. So once you've got... Uh, everything actually built <laughs> here. I got it sunk down. We're gonna want to add the water here for this one um, So we're gonna need a bottom for the water and then the side here So then we want this side as well. This comes out and this is where the water is gonna be So we'll go ahead and lay a bit here And once again, you want to close it off there. So that is one water trough build the other one Actually, bamboo doesn't even need water, so this is going to work out. We'll do the bamboo on this side. So once you have this part built up, uh, we're ready to add the pistons and the observers. We want the pistons to be one block up from, you know, the bottom of the plant. So we'll have the, the sapling or the, the first block here of the plant. Then it'll grow up and this is where we're gonna want to push it and harvest it from. And then on top of that piston, we'll place an observer like that so that the face detects out here. And then whenever a plant grows up to here, it'll go ahead and trigger this piston once we get the, uh, the redstone wiring put in. But first we're gonna start with this piston observer combo and we're gonna do that across the, the whole thing. So really, this is the farm. Um, all we've got to do is plant in our plants and encase everything in some glass and some blocks so that, you know, they don't just, all the entities don't just go flying everywhere. Um, so I'm gonna do that really quick and then that, that'll be that farm. We'll, we'll take a look and see how everything's doing. <laughs> So I was uh, finishing this up here and I totally forgot that there's actually some redstone circuitry that we have to do here. It's super easy. Oh, oh, 
All you have to do, I think that was a witch that just died in the farm there. All you have to do is get up here and place a row of blocks behind the pistons and put redstone dust on it. That's that's all you have to do. So do that and then finish your farm. <laughs> so this is our industrial district. We've got all of our farms set up. Everything is running. Um, so real quick before we end the episode, I just want to take a look at some of the outputs. So we've got this farm here. Um, as you can see, bamboo grows a little bit faster than sugarcane, and these have been going just for, I don't know, 10-15 minutes maybe. Um, actually, it's probably been closer to an hour for these ones, but that's, I mean, that's not really too bad for just a, a passive farm, and I can always make these bigger if, if these don't supply my needs in the future. Um, and then we've got over here, we've got our melon and pumpkin farm. This is what we've gotten since we built it. And then plus this little bit here. So that's that's quite a bit, almost a full shulker box of pumpkins and melons. That'll be great for trading. I put some glass around here. I'm gonna build some structures to these. This one I kind of did a little bit, um, but I'm gonna do more to them just to make them cooler looking. Uh, and then we have the zero tick farms. These ones are insane. So as you can see, we've got a full double chest here with a full, almost a full hopper here. And then we've got a full shulker box and almost, this is probably a half of one here. So a shulker box and a half plus a double chest in, I don't know, I think I've ran it for maybe an hour. So that's insane. And then, and then this one is just nuts. So we've got full hopper, full double chest, another full hopper, another full double chest, one shulker box, one, two, three, four, so five shulker boxes worth of bamboo. And that's been in, again, the same time that this has been running. So that is absolutely insane. What is that Enderman doing? Oh boy. Well, we gotta take care of this guy now, I guess. <laughs> well, that was, that was eventful. Uh, so yeah, these these are the farms. I'm gonna build them up a little bit, but that is definitely all the time we have for this episode. Uh, I'm way over. It's we're at like a half hour, I think. So it's a long episode, but we got a lot done today. We got some cool infrastructure set up, and we are prepared for when zero tick farms go away. So I'm super stoked. Uh, make sure that you subscribe, thumbs up, all of that if you enjoyed the video, and if you want to catch some more because we're gonna keep pumping out content. I know that this episode comes out a little bit late uh but i did have two episodes last week so i think that kind of makes up for it i am sorry that i didn't get one out again this week though um so yeah this will be coming out on i think it'll be tuesday and that, that's that thanks so much for checking it out have a wonderful day later